What's up guys, Thomas from FJ6 Speed Factory and we're basically moved into this building now. So thank you for patiently waiting. Videos are gonna be back to a normal schedule. Now before we get into all the new products, first I'm gonna announce the winners for the Comp RS from MXP with the Titanium Blue Burnt Tips, the catback system that we are giving away and through a random comment generator, Christopher Poncio is the winner. Congrats dude, hopefully you don't live in California because this, this exhaust is pretty loud. Now, something new we're gonna be trying for YouTube, starting at this video and hopefully all the rest of them, the first hour of an upload, so when the video's fresh and new, I'm gonna be monitoring the comments. So if you have any questions, you can jump in there and I'll be doing my best to comment back to everybody. So if you wanna chat about uh, random car stuff or you got questions pertaining to the video or other installs, I'll be there. So basically you have to have uh, YouTube notifications on just to make sure you know when we upload a video. Then we can like hang out in the comment sections. Now, with that being said, let's get into all the new products of February. The first things we got for this month are some new Valenti taillights. We got a new smoke model as well as a new carbon fiber model. And both of these have the full sequential turn signals like all new Valentis do. But if you don't like that, there's always a switch on the back and you can turn those off. With the carbon fiber taillights, the housing is all carbon fiber and this has a clear lens with a red LED bar, while the smoke versions have a bit of a gold hue to the smoked lens and it has a red LED bar inside. Do, do, do. Now new for this month, we have three new shift knobs. We've got two from Illuminati and one from SCAD. Now the SCAD one, this one is all aluminum. It's 0.55 pounds, which is just a 10th of a pound heavier than the factory shift knob, but you get a little bit more length, which helps in leverage thrown through the gears. Um, now this one's a prototype, so they are all black anodized. This one just hasn't been anodized coated yet. Um, and this one was designed by a uh, Subaru guy that was an engineer, so you can kind of tell it looks like a piston you've got like a dished flat top piston head with like some grooves where the piston rings would go so kind of neat design that one's from SCAD now moving on to the slightly heavier one this one's from Illuminati it weighs 290 grams which is like 0.6 pounds so a little bit heavier um, this one's made out of aluminum and then you've got a black coating here they also have a new aluminum shifter made out of stainless steel same shape as this one this one is made out of stainless steel and weighs 225 sorry it's 825 grams and that's about 1.8 pounds this thing is freaking heavy so if you want a taller shift knob that gives you a little bit more leverage and weighs a bunch so the gears are basically going to fall into place you just have to like guide it um, definitely take a look at this shift knob this one is super heavy Ugh. Whew. these are soft so we got new alcantara models of the neck pillow and lumbar support pillows um, we've got them in like a bunch of different versions but those are the leather versions this is the only alcantara one out right now alcantara you know it's cool it's not like a traditional alcantara it's more of like a soft suede kind of finish like this is more alcantara e um, but this is the red stitching, so obviously it's not going to match with the silver stitching in our 8.6, but who cares? They're super soft. It would go perfectly, especially with the STI logo, in like a BRZ. Um, so if you got a BRZ and you want lumbar supports, you want the uber plushness, because driving these stock seats on like a long trip, that, that sucks. You don't want to get a numb bum, so get one of these, and this just, you know, makes sitting in traffic a lot more pleasing. Next up, I have probably the cleanest way to mount a digital gauge inside an FRS or Z86. This is the P3 vent gauge, um, and it's got a digital interface in here that's inside of the little side vents, the little circle ones of the car. Um, this is like, if you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't even notice this is here. It takes out two of the uh, little tiny uh, vent director finny things, um, and inside you'll put your, uh, the P3 gauge. So you can buy it, this whole thing, this is already a factory uh, vent. You can pop out your old one and put this one in and then all this wires, you can just like shove behind the uh, 
the dash and then at the very bottom you'll plug that into the obd2 uh, don't get too worried about all these wires if you don't like wiring things these are not necessary these just add like other features like auto brightness and stuff but if you just want the features um, of the digital gauge all the obd2 stuff so your engine temperature coolant uh exhaust gas temperatures you can do uh, speed it's super cool i dig this thing a lot um, you can buy it just the interface if you want to save some money and then install it yourself the instructions didn't look too hard we'd have an install video on this if you guys really want but this is new from p3 definitely a super clean setup if you want a gauge inside your car all right, that wraps it up for all the products we got for the month of February. Like always, the links are going to be down in the descriptions. And if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at sales at ft86speedfactory.com. Now, again, as a reminder, if you're watching this video and it's less than an hour old, I will be down there in the comment section replying to you guys. If you're watching this video and it's more than an hour old, then uh, you just have to wait a little bit longer for your reply. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Generator, we picked out, what's his name? <laughs> no! It's Jimmy! This is Sammy.